Hey guys, so this year we saw some exciting flagship devices like all the way from Xiaomi 12 Pro, Samsung S20 Ultra, OnePlus 10 Pro, Samsung Flip and Fold, the Xiaomi 12s Ultra, Honor Magic 4 Pro to the Pixel 7 Pro and Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. So it is time to pick the best and worst flagship of this year. See I've got no awards or something but I'll be honest with you guys. I yeah, will first share best in each category and then the best and worst phone of this year. So yeah, starting with the best display phone of this year and without any doubt it has to be the Samsung S22 Ultra cause got amazing brighter display, no notch or dynamic island but a really small hole punch with decent curved edges. So yeah, max out resolution, more screen to body ratio, max out refresh rate, amazing colors and even in sunlight, it is one of the brightest with the extra brightness option. The next one is the best camera phone of this year and me I would pick the Xiaomi 12s Ultra with Sony IMX989 1 inch sensor and like optimization in this category. Yes, this device can shoot amazing day and night images, you guys can watch my full camera comparison video and Xiaomi and highlights, Samsung Pixel, OnePlus, Moto and even Apple if not in all but most departments. Special mention to the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max can shoot amazing images and videos but Xiaomi have done the best job overall. So next we have the best battery life in a phone and without any doubt it is none other than the Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max got a small 4323mAh battery and this device went 11 plus hours in a continuous battery drain test thanks to 4nm base A16 chip made by TSMC. The special mention for this one goes to the Moto Edge 30 Ultra got 1080p resolution, 8 plus Gen 1 chip and 5000mAh battery and can go longer than almost all non-iPhone devices in the market right now. The best software is a tie and that is the Samsung One UI 5 and Pixel UI. See the Pixel UI's basic simple gets regular software and patches and because of that I like it a lot but Samsung is giving it a tough fight too cause have done amazing changes in the One UI 5 like from the lock screen customization to some great security and privacy functions not to mention they are sometimes faster than Pixel in rolling out monthly security patches. The most powerful phone like in terms of gaming and performance is the one and only A16 powered Apple iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yes, gaming, rendering and multitasking is fun on this device cause it doesn't heat that much, it doesn't drain that much battery and again the performance is always smooth on this device. The most innovative phone of this year is the Samsung Fold and Flip mature design in display selfie shooter and yes it is the only phone to go if you are looking for a unique folding device. Finally the best phone of this year is the Samsung S22 Ultra and yeah it may not be the best or best in some of the categories I mentioned but overall it is the best phone with an amazing display, amazing 108 megapixel camera system with groundbreaking periscope shooter. So yeah, the performance and optimization is decent, software is fantastic with tons of features and monthly security patches, got 45 watts of fast charging and the battery life is decent too. So yes again the Samsung S22 Ultra it is and the worst phone of this year is the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Terrible software support, the battery life is just trash, heats a lot, performance is mediocre, cameras are okay and got no to less innovation at all. Yeah I know it is less expensive than the Samsung S22 Ultra but I would pick OnePlus 10 Pro or Moto Edge 30 or Samsung S22 over this Xiaomi 12 Pro anytime any day. This all guys, thanks so much for watching, so this was my honest opinion, you guys can comment yours too, like subscribe and I'll meet you guys in the next one, peace out.